Guess who's back? Back, back, back again. Green screen's back. Please don't kill me. Shit. Yo, it's stuck on the fucking door. Alright boys and girls, so today we're going to be doing a team review, okay, and if you don't know what this series is, it's basically you guys send me your teams and I check them out and give you my opinion on them. I asked you guys on the community tab, you know, to send me your teams and we got a, I just, the amount of people that sent me their teams, lads, I am so blown away, like seriously, this, this channel has just, it has grown so much, like since, uh, it's just so quick as well, man, like I just cannot thank you guys enough for the support on just, uh, just everything, like seriously, it is just crazy, it's, it's mind-blowing. It's it's actually mind-blowing how, how crazy this is. So I'm going to be looking at 10 of your teams today, lads. Okay, I've randomly selected 10 teams uh, for today's team review. I will be doing this in the near future, lads, if your team doesn't get selected, which obviously, you know, there was a lot of you guys. So I, again, it's probably, it's pretty most likely that you didn't. Uh, just send me your team again for the next one or, you know, and whenever we do it, I, I'll announce it. Just just send it to me whenever I announce it and I'm your team might get in next time. But anyway, lads, let's not waste any time. Okay, let's jump straight into team number one. Team review. Okay, lads, starting off with team number one. Very, very, very sweaty here. Like, there's a lot of players in here. Uh, it's just rubbing me all the wrong ways. This is getting weird, bro. The team is full chemistry, so you know that gets bonus points here on the channel. You know how much I love a, a full chemistry team here, lads. Yeah, there's just a lot of good players in here. You know, you got that prime Louis Hernandez, who obviously is incredible. I've used the baby and the middle version of Hernandez, and I love him. I think he's really, really good. So I'm just guessing that prime version is just a lot better than those ones. So I can only imagine he's very good. Uh, you've got that Javinho, who's just extremely sweaty and, and just ace as fuck. Like, he's, he's literally the most ace player ever. And then you've also got Daniel James who I absolutely hate playing against. I wasn't a massive fan of when I used him but I, I sure as hell hate playing against him. So that front three is just outright disgusting. Midfield is pretty good. Okay, you've got Ramsey who's obviously very good. Inform Allen is extremely good. Not sure about that middle guy. I'm sure. I'm pretty sure there's probably better options than that guy. The fuck you say to me you little shit! And the defence is also pretty solid. You've got the Juan Jesus who is absolutely fantastic. Rob Agnoli is solid as hell. So it's a very, very decent team. Very, very nice. Also very colourful. I rate colours as well when it comes to teams and there's a lot of colours in here. You've got the, the future stars, the icon. I love the colours in this team. So let's have a look at some improvements for this team then. I would, I'm trying to think of who we could replace this middle guy, this middle Zelinski. I, I think he has an average card, but I, I'm, I'm, sh I'm sure there's better options out there. Just off the top of my head, there's a couple of cards that come to mind when it comes to Serie A midfielders that I know are really good. Uh, you've got an inform Nyingalan who I think, I think his team of the week moments is about 150k. Looks absolutely incredible. So you've got an, I think he's 87 rate. You've got the eight and rated nine galan. You've also got that future stars Dominguez, who is absolutely fantastic, especially defensively. That's a really good card. He's about 300k now, so he's a little bit more than that nine galan, but he's a very, very good option. So just a couple of midfielders off the top of my head uh, that are pretty good. I'd probably say that you also want to be upgrading that Malqui. Uh, he's a very jammy, sweaty little cunt, but we can probably do better there. Uh, just off the top of my head, there's that. There's the shapeshifter Hatbua. He's. I don't think he's too cheap, but you could probably save up for that. I can't think of anyone else. The right back uh, spot in the Serie A is a little bit lacking but other than that it's a great team lads i'm gonna give this an 8.6 out of 10 it's a very very nice team loving the front three midfield is decent and, and the defense is very solid so it's a great start full chemistry lots of colors good very very good team <coughs> team review okay then on to the second tip. we've got another malqui hello there you guys didn't do the Futmus Malqui, huh? We've got another very good team here, lads. There's a lot of good players in here. We're looking at another full chem team, which is great. I, again, you guys know how I love me some full chem. It's not full chem. It's not full chem. It's, it's... Um... Oh, no. Yeah, no, all jokes aside, this is a great team, okay? Some very good players in here. There's definitely some improvements, I would say, and I'll get into those in a minute, but as for the good players, Kai Havertz for that birthday. My God, when I used that card, he was unbelievable. I absolutely loved Kai Havertz. You've got normal Sissoko there. I can't fault it. He's such a beast. Even at this stage in the game, I, I just, um, I've played against Sissoko in Weekend League, and he's still good. That version of Sissoko is still usable. Obviously, Sonaldo's a good card. You've got that Eggstein, who looks, I'm a little bit mixed on that Eggstein. He's got fantastic defensive stats but I feel like there are areas that he's definitely not the best in so I'm a little bit mixed on him. As for improvements for this team then I'm just trying to think off the top of my head. Uh, I know that Louis not Louis, what's his name? Theo Hernandez has a second form so that's that's uh, a card you could maybe get. As for the goalkeeper spot you should definitely definitely invest in a Pau Lopez team in a week moments I think he's very cheap now, he's not too expensive. We'll get the green link to Smaldini so he'll be on full chem. It's quite good isn't it? Eh? Obviously there was a Futmus Manalas SPC that came out that you maybe or maybe did not 
do, uh, but yeah, he was very, very affordable. It wasn't too expensive, so maybe you invested in him. I'm not too sure. Very good card, though. Yeah, other than that, lad, I'm not too sure where we would improve this team because obviously but you take certain players out and make it off chem, uh, which you probably don't want to do. Uh, maybe an icon swap would go amiss here. I know Sissoko's good, but maybe an icon moments Lampard would, would be perfect for you. And yeah, if you did get that Frank Lampard, that would give you a lot more freedom on the left side. You could uh, you could end up getting rid of that Martial, uh, and you could get like Mane and Robertson, for example, because obviously you'd have the green link going into Smaldini off of uh, Frank Lampard, so that would that would create a lot more freedom with the team. So yeah, lad, if you can, maybe consider doing the icon swaps. There's definitely some options that would improve your team there, but uh, I think it's a very, very solid team. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. The Kai Havertz is very good. Sonaldo obviously is insane. Uh, the off -chem, the off -chem Smaldini just drags it down a little bit, and there's definitely a few players that you can improve, but a very solid team nonetheless. Team review. Okay, lads. Why, why have you got fuck birthday hazard then? Why, 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 why am I looking at that? Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Is that a joke? What? What's, what's going on here, lads? Why, why have we got two off chem Smaldinis in a row? Like, why, why is that happening? And, but yeah, this team is, is low key turning me on a little bit. It's some very sick players in here. You got Hazard, who again is incredible. You got that moments Litmanen, who I think is incredible. Very slept on, very underrated player Litmanen. For that objective Ozzyman, who is a very, very good card, one of the better objectives this year. An, an insane striker right there. Raul Prime, who, uh, you know, is insane, of course. You got Prime, Roy Keane, who I'm guessing is good. I haven't used him, but um, I can only imagine he's pretty solid. I guess for improvement, I'm not really terribly sure. I, I would probably say maybe an icon centre back into the Smaldini. Uh, you could go with, you know, any variety of players. Sol Campbell, Rio Ferdinand, Desai. Plenty of options there for centre back if you were to if you wanted to link that up and make that full cam. And to be fair, if you did do that, you could go with any French goalkeeper or, or any Bundes goalkeeper. So you could obviously get Neuer, which would be an upgrade over Glashki. Uh, you get Lloris, who was overpowered as Frick. Uh, so there'd be plenty of options for goalkeeper then if you did something like that. Yeah, I'm kind of a little bit stuck here, lad, because it's a really good team and there's not really too many areas that I would say it needs improving. It's a really good team. You've got really good icons in there. You've got Hazard, who is ridiculous, of course. The only player in there that I I'm really not a fan of that Versa trait guy. Is that his name? I don't know how to say it. Why are you there? But yeah, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, lads. I, I fucking hated him. I hated everything about him. So if he is in your team purely for the chemistry to get to that 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 Hazard link, if that is the reason, I'd probably say maybe go with an icon there to link that up uh, instead of him. You know, if that if that is the case, if you like him, then you like him. But for me, he was shit. He was he was genuinely terrible. Or perhaps you could switch Roy Keane with that Versa trait guy, or uh, however the fuck you say his name. Uh, you could go with Indeedy because obviously Ndidi uh, Amber links to Ozzyman, you could do that. Uh, obviously that would make Smaldini off chem, so you would have to get uh, an icon centre back there, or if there's an English Leicester centre back, which I don't think there is, but if there were, that would work, but obviously that doesn't really matter because there isn't, but you could get an icon centre back and you could go with Inform Ndidi, that's something that you could maybe consider, but I'm just throwing, I'm throwing mud at a wall here, lad. I'm, your team is great, it's hard to improve really. So I'm going to give it a 9.1 out of 10. I think it's a very, very juicy team. Hazard, of course, Course. Fantastic card there, which definitely ups it. You got Icon Moments Lippmann, and who's, who's just the go. Ozzyman is fantastic. Great defense. It's a great team. Doesn't really need too much improvement. So, you know, good job. Good job on the team. <laughs> team review. Okay, lads. This team is turning me on a lot. Why are you gay? This guy's got two cards that are just absolutely goatly, and for that, he has my respect, okay? Kubo, King Kubo is just the man, okay? If you haven't used that Kubo, I know obviously you can't if you haven't done the SBC. He's just fantastic. I don't know what it is. He's, he's absolutely broken. Veron. If you haven't tried Icon Veron yet, fuck off, Hullet. Fuck off Vieira. Veron is the best midfielder in the game. But yeah, this is a very good team, okay? There's not really too many improvements. Again, the only thing that is sort of pissing me off is a little bit of off chem in here, which, you know, we all know that we don't like. I've said it enough times now. So yeah, this is a little bit tricky. Obviously, if you pull one card out, it's gonna it's just gonna make the whole team sort of crumble. Uh, so I'm just trying to think of a way you could you could fix the chem without ruining the team too much. You've kind of got to keep Veron there because obviously you need a left mid and that just doesn't make that just complicates things and makes things difficult. Uh, and I can't think of a good left mid that's 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 
it's French and BPL anyway. Obviously, it's Martial, but he's just not that great. I guess the only way that you can really fix a chem here is by pulling out that Rojas. I did really like him, and I think he's a very good card. Uh, he might be worth having off chem, but I would probably say if you got rid of Rojas and got, like, Kante uh, and put Aguero up front, something like that, and then obviously Lucas Hernandez would be on full chem, uh, or you could get, uh, what's his name, Inform Decore, second Inform maybe, uh, for a slightly cheaper option. And that's what I would do personally, and that Kante is, of course, just the absolute goat of this game. Everyone knows that Kante is broken in this game, so that's what I would do personally, uh, and I would just use Rojas as a super sub. Oh! 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 What the hell is wrong with you? Yeah, other than that, I don't think there's too many improvements you can go with here. Maybe you could get, like, Emerson Future Stars at right back instead of Carl Walker. Uh, Emerson I use in this game, really, really good. Uh, if you wanted to go with someone a little bit more expensive, you could get that Sergio Ramos player moments from the SBCs. He's an absolute dick to play against. I know a lot of you guys end up switching him into the centre-back sides, but you could still make him a, a very usable right back. He would make an, an incredible defensive right back. But it's a very good team, okay? Other than the off chem players here, it's a really good team. you got King Kubo, you got Ferron, Rojas is a great player, you got Red Aguero, who I'm definitely jealous of. It's a great team, I'm giving it an 8.8 .8 out of 10. It would definitely be higher if it was full chemistry. The players in here definitely turn me on. You know, you got Ferron, Kubo, oh, I love it, but the off chem just lets it down a little bit. It would definitely be uh, a 9 or a 9.2 if it was full chem, but sadly, you guys know the rules. You chose to break them anyway. Team, review. Okay, we've got another goat here. The goat! But, sadly, I, mean, I'm, I can feel tears coming out of my eyes. Is There's just another off-chem player. You guys you guys know the rules of team review and you, you choose to, to break them. And, I, and, it, and it hurts. Every time I see it, it hurts. Yeah, this is a very good team. And you got Boutra, you got Litmanen, Talvan, who is an absolute dick to play against. That guy's left foot is made of some magic because that guy's finesse shots always go in against me. I'm not too sure about that Asensio. To me, he didn't look that great. So I, I ended up binning off that SBC. But uh, I, I'm guessing he is pretty good because he's in your team. The defense here is very much sweat based. It's not too crazy, but it's very sweaty. Lenglet's still pretty good in this game. Luke Hernandez is solid enough. And, you know, Semedo's great. Schultz is a good player, so the defense is definitely on more of an, on the sweat side. But yeah, it's a great team. I like a lot of the players in here. I'm just trying to think of a way that you could fix the chemistry uh, uh, with with Decore. I guess just maybe go with an icon. Uh, you can get Lampard out of the swaps. You can get Hullet. Uh, I don't think there's anyone else that you could get because obviously I'm I'm guessing that Litmanen was from the swaps as well. So you could maybe get Catuso, something like that if you wanted a more defensive option. Other than that, just make some general changes. I think Rufier for Larice would be a good swap. Maybe if you can get Leng. Uh, get rid of Lenglet and get Varane. But no, it's a very good team. I'm going to give this an 8.6169. Stop it. Team, review. Okay, then, next up, we've got some Ogre. Okay. Oh, oh, what's going on here, then? That's not, like, that's not okay. So, yeah, this team is kind of disgusting. There's, there's one player that, that stands out among the rest. Uh, I think we all know it. Javinho, what a card that Javinho. So yeah, I don't feel like I need to talk about how good Team Media Messi is because it's Team Media Messi. Uh, there's Jovic, who is I just re that's one of my regrets. Uh, I've I've done most SBCs and and not regretted anything. Uh, there's not too many SBCs I missed out on then without regrets. But that player moments Jovic, I definitely regret not doing. I should have done it. Uh, Jovic was the goat last year, and I feel like I I kind of owed it to myself to do it, but I decided to save the coins. I wish I did it though. Obviously that flashback Javinho is just amazing. Love him. Sandro is such a good left back, lads. If you want a left back that just is is end game level. Sandro doesn't make mistakes. He's so good. Yeah, just a really good team. There's not too many improvements here. The only player that I would say maybe improve is that Nesta. I feel like I feel like there's definitely better centre-backs in the game than Nesta at this stage. So if it were me, I'd probably go with a quicker icon centre-back. Someone like Rio Ferdinand or uh, I'm just trying to think off the top of my head. Uh, Sol Campbell is, is pretty good. I like him at least. You could potentially get icon Maldini out of the icon swaps. I'm guessing that Gattuso was out of the icon swaps. So I think you can still get him. I think you should still have enough icon swap tokens uh, the second set but yeah other than that it's pretty much a perfect team there's literally nothing else that I can I can critique it's got TVD and Messi uh, so it's it's getting a 9.5 that's a that's a crazy good team uh, and I don't feel like I want to talk about it anymore because the more I look at that Messi the more I feel sick so 9.5 here is a choice <laughs> Team review. Okay, this team is interesting. I like many aspects of this team. Doniel Mallon, nice little green link to uh, to Ronald Koeman. 
That's kind, of, that's kind of fire. Yeah, there's some very interesting cards here. You've got Ryan Kent. Don't need to talk about that, do we? We've also got Daniel James. That's got to be one of the scariest sites. You, you line up for champions. You've done the mat. You, you selected teams and everything. You've done the kits. Uh, and then you see Kent and Daniel James. Hey, what the f*** is that? Holy Jesus Christ. Not to mention Malin's pace as well. That's just fucking grim. Like, well and truly disgusting. Yeah, I like many aspects of this team, lad. This is a very, very nice team. You've got Baby Lampard. Who, I don't know this Baby Lampard. I think it's just middle that's a little bit slow. The Baby one's actually pretty usable. Yeah, you've got a very solid defence there. Saint Just, very quick, very sweaty. You've also got the Shadow card on Saint Just, which makes him even quicker and even sweatier. So yeah, it's just a very good team. There's not too many improvements in here. Maybe Icon Moments Lampard for the baby one. That could be a good replacement. Yeah, other than that, that's pretty much as good as it's going to get. There's not really too many other improvements you can make. You know, you could improve St. Just, but that would make Malin off chem. So if you were to do that, maybe get an Icon Centre back. Someone like Maldini out of the Icon swaps, perhaps. This is a great team. Not too many improvements to make here. Full chemistry, which is getting some bonus points. Very colourful as well. So I love that. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Very solid stuff uh, it's very 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 good team team review okay then next up we've got a team that's that's a really fucking good team that is that's actually and there's some fucking fire links in there that's it's hella colorful that is a damn good team the best word i can say but uh, we'll describe this was boom <laughs> Ooh. right off the bat i love that perfect link from akuna to pataglia that's a sick link i really like that you've got that ogbonna flashback who is just I, I mean, I don't need to talk about it. He's just ridiculous. Fuck birthday, Theo Hernandez. Pretty much one of, if not the best left back in the game in terms of stats. Doesn't get much better than that. Yeah, we've got another team that looks to be full chem as far as I can see. I don't see any any uh, links that are out of place there. It's so I'm pretty sure it's full chem. It doesn't get much better. There's, there's, it's difficult to, to say where to improve because there really aren't many areas. I can't I can't really pick anything out. There's only really two areas that stand out to me that could maybe do with a little bit of tinkering. I think Latoura Martinez is good, but I do feel like there are definitely better strikers out there, especially in terms of icons. So you can maybe go with, I don't know, Icon Moments, Ian Rush out the icon swaps. Uh, oh no, you've already got Gattuso, so you wouldn't be able to get them. Would you be able to get them both? No, I think you still can, right? Is that right? Do you maths, Michelle? Four, three... You can, I'm pretty sure. Good brains. So you could get him, five star weak foot, incredible card on that Ian Rush. I wish I could have got him at an Overmars, that would have been the dream, but sadly not to be. Seamus Coleman, I'm not terribly sold on. I think maybe you could definitely get a better right back there. I think he has only like 71 strength Seamus Coleman, so I would probably say there are definitely better right backs out there. Obviously I haven't used him, so I might be wrong on that. But I would definitely say, I think in, is it a man in a match or an inform? Uh, Ricardo Pereira, uh, that would definitely be an improvement. He's got ridiculous pace and stuff. Um, you could maybe i don't think he's that good but that is the uh winter refresh for florenzi who is maybe better i don't know i'm clutching at straws here lad i'm really not terribly sure yeah i love this team i think it's absolutely fantastic it's got some really really nice colors in there in fact it's full rainbow except for the flashback if you did get rid of seamus coleman and did get winter refresh florenzi it would be full rainbow which would be so cool so yeah this is a really good team i really love the way he's built it i really like the players in here i'm gonna give this a nine and a half out of ten i just think i just really like the way he built it uh, the players in here are obviously really good as well so it's a really really good team just maybe a few improvements to think about uh, with Latura Martinez and, and Coleman maybe perhaps I don't know team review okay then on to the next team okay this is an interesting team um Neymar and Mbappe I see that plenty of times in weekend league so I'm kind of getting sick of seeing their faces we've also got Usman Dembele uh, he dicks me in fuck champs, just like Mbappe and Neymar. This team is traumatizing me. Getting Vietnam flashbacks here. I hope you die in a fire! Got Icon Moments Lipmanen, absolute go. I've said it enough times today. Bakioko, what a card. Absolutely fantastic. Well, definitely worth the objective grind there. And yeah, you got a very solid and sweaty defense. This is a pretty meta team. This is not too, uh, it's not too different from the norm. I'd say Vidal is a little bit different, but uh, yeah, other than that, it's a pretty meta team. You got the most meta defense ever there. It's just as meta as it gets. The, the front three is extremely extremely meta. Midfield is a bit different. Uh, you know, obviously Littman and I wouldn't say it's meta. Bakioko. Bakioko's meta, I guess. But it's a very, very good team. I can only imagine it's extremely effective. I know how good Mbappe is. I know how good Neymar is just from playing against them. Usman Dembele's fantastic in this game. Defense is solid. It's just a very, very solid team. Uh, it's not it's not overly um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not, it's simple. It's, it's a simple team, but it's a, it, I'm guessing it's effective. As for improvements with this team, lad, just a 
few things I would say. Varan instead of Lenglet. I know Lenglet is very overpowered, but Varan, I'm telling you, if you haven't used Varan this year, he is so freaking good. He is just incredible. So definitely upgrade that Lenglet for Varan if you can. That, that rhymed. That was cool. As for Vidal, I would definitely go with someone a little bit quicker. Uh, there's a few options you could get. Uh, there's Headliner Saul, who's very solid. Uh, you've got Winter Refresh. Uh, what's his name? Hector Herrera. He's got like 92 standing tackle. Really good card on him and very cheap as well. That look good, okay? And it's also various special cards of Thomas Party. He's got the UCL card. I think it's 88 rated. He's got the 87 inform and the 86 version. So plenty of options there that are a little bit quicker than Vidal and a little bit more, just, just a bit better. But yeah, it's a very, very good team. It's very simple and it's very solid and I'm guessing it's very effective. I'm going to give it an 8.6 out of 10. It's very, it's not too crazy. It's it's not got too many colours in it, and it's 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 very simple, but it looks very effective. And you know that front three is genuinely, I'm not looking at it anymore. <laughs> team review. Okay, let's on to the final team. This is. Wow, okay. So right off the bat, I'm just going to address that perfect link from Boateng to Neuer. Love that. That's such a cool link. Makes me really horny. Then linking Sergio Ramos with that Boutra. I love it, man. I absolutely love that. Could you make a better defense than that? Maling Saar, Theo Hernandez, Boateng flashback, and Sergio Ramos. That is a crazy good defense. The midfield as well. You've obviously got Fred starting up front. I'm guessing converting into a 4-1-2-1-2. -1 -1 -2, you probably play Fred. Uh, where would you? Would you play Fred as a CDM or a center mid? And then sit. I'd say you... I'm guessing you play Cyprian as a CDM, and then you play, or you could play a Tau as an attacker. Maybe you play a 4 2 3 one I have no idea, but regardless, a Tau, quality card, really freaking good. Cyprian's got a fantastic, well-rounded card, and Fred is, is goatly. So, uh, this, this team is insane. This might be the best team yet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> This is a tasty burger. This is this is a crazy team. I, I honestly have no idea where to improve. I don't know what, what you would do to improve it. It's it's about as good as it gets. It's seriously, that is insane. You've got in cra like crazy pace on the midfielders there. Uh, the front three is just incredible. I honestly have no idea. The only place I would maybe maybe improve is Daniel James and I don't know you could maybe get Garincha out of the uh, the icon swap something like that that but that's literally I'm um, again clutching at straws there I've no idea uh, I'm get Daniel James I'm sure is really good so you probably don't even really want to do that so yeah I'm just gonna give this a 9.6 out of 10 and, and call it a day that is a fucking that is a team that is one heck of a team Team review. Anyway, boys and girls, that will conclude things. I hope you did enjoy. I will be doing this again, lads. So if your team wasn't featured, don't worry. Again, just uh, I'll let you guys know on the community tab, and uh, you guys can send me your teams. And maybe, just maybe, you'll get your team reviewed, uh, and we can have fun, have have fun with this again. But yeah, if you did enjoy, smash like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, peace. <laughs>